Welcome to this introduction to Speech Engine for Unity. In this video, we'll be adding a simple menu reader system to a Unity game. We'll use text-to-speech to read the menu as we navigate through it. Let's start by creating a new scene. Then, go ahead and create a UI button. This automatically generates a canvas, which will contain all of our user interface, UI elements. We'll center this button and then duplicate it, so we get two buttons. Let's name one play, and the other quit. Next, select both buttons and change their selected color to green for a visual highlight. Now, let's adjust their navigation properties. We'll ensure explicit navigation is enabled, and set the navigation to move up and down between the buttons. Go ahead and save your project. Now. Create a new C-sharp script called Canvas Reader and open it in Visual Studio. First, we'll add the Unity Engine UI namespace as well as the Read Speaker namespace to import the TTS functionality. We'll create a new variable named Speaker to hold a reference to a TTS speaker component. We'll also need to create a variable called Initially Selected to store the selectable component we want to read first. Finally, let's add a delay variable to control the time between reading different UI elements. Now, we'll create a function called readCanvas. This function will read the entire canvas. We'll also create an IE numerator coroutine named Canvas Reader Coroutine. Inside the coroutine, we'll set initially selected to be the selectable element we want to read. We'll use a while loop to continue reading as long as there's a selectable element available. Let's also create a function called readSelectable that takes a selectable element as input. We'll create a text variable and check if the selectable element is a button. If it is, we'll get its text component and extract the text. Then, We'll use TTSA to have our speaker read the text aloud. Within our while loop, we'll read the current selectable element and visually select it. We'll use wait until to pause the coroutine until the speaker's audio source has finished playing. This ensures the speaker has completed reading before moving on. We'll also add a delay using wait for seconds. Once that is done, we'll determine the next element to navigate to. We'll first check if there's an element to the right. If so, that will be our next target. If not, we'll try navigating downwards. You can customize this navigation logic to fit your specific menu layout. In this simple case, we can do it like this. To test this, we'll initialize the TTS system with TTS in it and then call read canvas on startup. Let's also add a way to restart the reading process. We'll use the R key for this. Pressing R will interrupt the current speaker, stop any running coroutines, and then restart the read canvas function. Save the script and return to the Unity editor. This will compile our code. Note, make sure your buttons have the correct text play and quit. Now, add the Canvas Reader component to your canvas and create a new speaker object. This allows us to define the voice's characteristics. Since our speaker needs an audio source, attach one to it. We can now preview the voice.
I sound like this. Set the initially selected to be the play button. We set the delay to one second, and now we can try it out. Play. Quit. As you can hear, it reads the menu elements and also selects them. We can press R to restart the navigation and reading. This was only one example of how you can implement a UI reader in Unity using Speech Engine Text to Speech. We look forward to seeing what you create. Join the conversation over on our Discord channel.